a lot of things that people think about and focus on these days. The questions that matter though, most people spend more time planning a vacation than they do about the important questions. Yeah. By the way, where are you guys from? California. Oh, you're from here? California. California. Oh, nice. I want to do meaning because meaning. Do meaning. I feel like you just have to live your life to the fullest, you know. You never know when you're going to die, you never know when you're going to get hit by something out here. So, I mean, get drunk, spend your money, spend your money. you know, you, you can't die with your money. You can't take you it can't with you. You can't take it with you. So. Okay, so, so back to meaning. So watch this. There, all, these te all these questions, by the way, they're all tied together. So watch this. Origin. We were by the Museum of Natural History today. Did you guys go there yet? No, not yet. So they, they say, here's the story of humanity. We were, we were, you know, creating some slime and grew to some creatures and then one day we were monkeys and now we're walking the streets of D.C., right? Right. So, if that's the case, we were stardust, elements of the universe, we're going to die, we're going to go back and be dust again, maybe the planet will explode, we'll be stardust again. How could life have meaning in that context? Like, what would be, the, what would be meaning in life other than, like you said, temporary joy, fulfillment from parting? Is there real meaning? Is there... Is there lasting meaning? Man. <laughs> like, what's the deeper part? Because, like, yeah, we can all, you know, eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow we die, as they say, right? right? But, but is there more than that? Who, who was it? It was Tom Brady. You know who Tom Brady is? Yeah, the football player. The what? Football player. Football player, right? He's right, married like, to Giselle, the famous Brazilian model. Mm -hmm. He's got, Bill, how many Super Bowl rings? Too many. He's got a whole bunch of Super Bowl <laughs> rings, right? All these tight, lots of money, endorsed. That's whatever. He's, he's on the top of the world. He said there must be more to life than this. Now. Your eat, drink, and be merry thing is going out the window now. He's here's a guy who's got. He's like in the Bible. It says King Solomon said, you know, he he did everything, you know, under the sun. He said, but it, it's all vanity. It's all it's all goes to the wind. Right. So think about that in context. Is there a real meaning? Like what what other kind of meaning would there be besides enjoying oneself and one life? I really don't know. I can't get deep about this. I mean, okay, you know what, what you leave behind. What's that? Like once you leave what you leave behind that's a real meaning after like what you have built upon all the years yeah. well that that could be meaning yeah because you can have temporary meaning as far as relationships right with kids right. and family and people you love but is there anything more than that like any you know for for example i'm, I'm saying eternally so now we're, we go from origin to destiny what happens when you die we go to heaven what do you think is that heaven heaven is there a hell too right for yeah bad people yes okay so how would you get to heaven or hell i feel and, like is there also is there a middle place too no, there isn't. There's I no feel like place. there isn't. Good for you. Yeah, there isn't. Good, so it's one or the other. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. That's, like a, that's, a, that's a very, you know, I, I, it's a... No, because you can't be... no way out, you're right. either hot or cold, you can't be in the middle. I right. feel like there isn't in the middle. That's yeah. That's good and evil. Right. To you, what is evil? To you, what is good? That's different. That's different to everybody. Yeah. To someone, a good person could be someone who oh. feeds homeless people. Oh, hold on. We're going to come to that in a second. I want to finish this part first. We'll come to that. You keep, keep, keep there. So... Heaven or hell, how would you get to heaven or how would you arrive I feel at like hell? it's, I mean, a relationship with God is just different. It's just personal. Like, no one's going to send you to heaven or hell. It's just you and God. Mm -hmm. Basically, where you, where you be living, who your God is. And then that's when you get to heaven or hell. You're, who your God is. So you choose your God is. Yeah, basically. You just have now, religion. What if, what if there's only one God? Je you know, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No one yeah. gets God except through me, right? So that he's saying, if he's right, maybe he doesn't know about the other gods. But if he's right... You're in trouble if you don't follow him. Right. Right. False. So, false gods, <laughs> false gods right? Yeah, false, false gods. That, that's his claim, right? Mm -hmm. So, but other people say different things, right? Buddha wasn't even, doesn't believe in God. Buddha is, he's atheist. Buddhism is an atheistic worldview, and they believe that we're all one drop in the ocean of life, right? And that's where our, our goal should be to try to, you know, be, um, to, to get rid of the desires of life, and we can assimilate back into the ocean of life. Mm -hmm. So, Heaven and hell again. So to get to heaven, you do what? You accept God and like Jesus Christ in your heart. You believe in it? Je Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. So you're a Christian? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Um, so the, the hell part, a lot of I noticed that a lot of people, even a lot of Christians, have a problem with hell. The concept. You know that Jesus talks more about hell than is about heaven. Yeah. He talks about literal hell and an eternal hell. Does it ever get you? Mm -mm. Scare you? No. No, good? I believe that hell is where we are now. This is hell. This is hell. Earth is hell. I just had a this really is... good shrimp and grits. It wasn't, that wasn't hell. That was closer to heaven. Yeah? Yeah, was, but, so, but you, you, you're, you're saying that earth is basically hell. You don't believe in a real, literal hell? Uh, no, not necessarily. Yes, in a way. But at the same time, I feel when, when the time comes, the people who are meant to stay here on earth are going to stay here on earth. And 
whoever rises to heaven is, you know. I feel like I, when, when the time comes, when there is no more earth, when there is no more humanity on this planet, this is going to be hell. This is going to be where people stay. So what's your first name? Megan. Megan, do you think that pedophiles and murderers and rapists and people like that, Hitler and Pol Pot, mass murderers, do you think they should just get to live on earth or should they, they should be punished something worse than that? Not worse, obviously. Judge, yeah. yeah. We'll judge, okay. Yeah. All right, let's go to you, young lady. What, what's your first name? Osiris. Osiris? Mm -hmm. How do you spell that? O-S-I-R-I-S. -I -I Osiris, okay. So, morality. Tell me about morality. You, you, you've had some thoughts about this, obviously. I happen to land that question on you, but you actually thought about this before. Tell me about it. I, I feel like there's no... There, everyone has a different good and evil. Like, um, a good person to you can be someone who gives you a dollar. Mm -hmm. You help someone out. Good to someone is maybe giving advice to someone. You're a good person to them. So I feel like good and, and evil can be... Someone evil can be someone who... Someone who, like, rapes kids. That can be evil to someone. Someone who's evil... Do you think that's good to somebody else? That's good to somebody else? Yeah. People who think like that, yes. Everyone has different mentalities. <laughs> right. Well, so like, the, watch this. And I just mentioned to um, Megan, I mentioned to Megan that, you know, there's a lot of mass murders in history. There's a lot of, I don't know if you realize, there's a lot of bad people in, a lot of bad people in Washington, <laughs> California, every place, right? So here's, here's my point is, um, who, who, who decides what's good and evil? Is I know you say, we decide kind of like with laws and what we think and how we no enforce but things. Yourself. But yourself. I mean, yes. But do you think that there's absolute truth, that there's an app, that there's there's something like a book or a person that says this is good and this is evil? No. No? No. So do you don't believe in God then? I believe in God. You do believe in God. Do you believe in what God, which God do you believe in? Uh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> but you know he said that. He's, he said that his word, his, he, he elevates his name above his very word, his word above his very name, I'm sorry, his word above his name, in his word he said he calls truth. So if that's the case, when you're saying is people decide for themselves what's good and what's evil, I know they decide what's good and evil, they follow that, but is that really what's good and evil though? Or is it what God says? So, so she said she's not real deep. Tell her about 25, 26 years ago when we met, and then you weren't that deep in Israel, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> when we met, I was uh, I was bartender and you know all of the things that go, Florida. all things that go with that. But um, drug dealer, high school, that kind of stuff. But so I my my parents died, my mom died of cancer and died in my arms, and that got my attention. I, I I said one day when I was 14, I said one day I'm going to seek out these questions, the questions we're asking you now. And I went to I checked I went to Buddhist temples, science departments, universities. You know, because you go to the science department, you hear what the Natural History Museum says. We're products of time plus chance plus, you know, matter. We're just accidents, and one day we're going to be stardust again. Life could have no meaning in that, in that context, right? Yeah. Um, and life could have no, you know, no destiny if that's the case. We're just going to be stardust. In that case, like you said, do whatever you want, right? Yeah. Just don't violate some laws and go to jail and spend the rest of your life in jail. So my point is this, Osir is Osiris? Osiris. 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 And, and again, my house, when I, I, my kids were younger, I set the morality. I said, this is good, this is bad. Yes, no, right? I was a sovereign, in, in the sovereign power of my house. Sovereign meaning I'm the final authority, mm -hmm. right? I speak into their world. That their world is their kitchen, the living room, their rooms. That's their world at that age, mm -hmm. right? So my point is, as human beings, if we relied on each other to make the rules, that, like you said, morality changes all the time. There's, there's, is there such thing as, I'm, we're going to go to the Supreme Court steps and ask this question. Is there such thing as absolute moral truth? Meaning, is there such thing as, this is true for all people at all times and all places? No. There's not. No. As a Christian, you're saying that? No, it's just me. Well, I, yeah, but I know, but I, but I know <laughs> that, I know, I know you're saying that what people don't think, but I'm saying, is there, if there is a God, like you say you're, you believe in God and you believe you're a Christian, if I'm there is a God, wouldn't, Catholic, sorry. or you're Catholic. Mm -hmm. well, Sorry. Catholics can be Christians. Well, yeah. But, yeah. You know, I don't but know do you saying. believe do you believe the Bible is the is the moral authority then, or or just it's kind of part of it? It's just part of it. Yeah. So what's the other part? Mm -hmm. Whatever you make it. Whatever you make it. Yeah. So if I wanted to go take that lady's eye, at, watch off her hand, what do you think? If you I, need it, I see why not. Why not? No, you don't. Did you? I just you didn't. Said it. You yeah. just said that. Oh. I did. Okay. Well, that's that's so that's survival of the fittest, by the way.
Dallas. She's what? Dallas. Oh, you're a cowboy fan. No, that's her shirt. Yeah. So, are you are you a believer too? Uh, I really not say. Okay. Yeah. What would you say? I don't know. I think morality is just like uh, we're the only species that, that has we, morality. That has morality. It's constructed by us, followed by us. Mm -hmm. The other things just are um, just live by their own instinct, by their own. Uh, but I think you know everything else. Um, we believe we live by something that we've constructed ourselves, something that we imagined into it. We say something is right, something else will be wrong to some somebody else. Yeah. Obviously, um, even even the Bible itself, you know, they they interpret it differently, completely. Um, maybe one verse is literal, like the literal word, but like some other people. Will you know, that's why there's so many set facts, so many yeah, sex, people, so people, many facts. Yeah, people can interpret anything Je differently, yeah. You ask any Jehovah, any Mormon, you know, any Christian, they'll say, I'm Christian. But in reality, their beliefs and they'll think something right, something wrong will be different. So so you think there's no moral standard then? Um, to be honest, it's, 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 a, it's by opinion. It's by emotion. It's driven by emotion. It's by, we're the only ones, we're the only ones that have such a complex emotional that we we're driven by it. if we see if we see, if we get mad because somebody else dies and we just kind of it's whatever but if it's like our son it'll be driven by emotion we think that's bad because we don't want that to be detached from us but if it took us like millions and millions of years to develop you know somebody like there's some animals that will kill their own offspring but we see our own kids and it's disgusting but then there's somebody else that can kill off their own kid. It's been like millions of years of just this mindset uh, that we've got come down to this, to the point where, you know, it's been driven by emotion and by opinion in my, you know, and if somebody says that morality is driven by God, then that puts in context, then it takes a God, then they're not really saying like God exists, they're putting religion exists. They're putting in context that well, you you need a God to be morally right, is that what it says? Then that, the, you don't need a conscience, then that's what it means. But even people you know, that don't believe in God, they'll have a morality to themselves. Well, they have a morality. They can, you can choose whatever morality you said. I'm saying is, the question is <laughs> Is there like an objective morality? Is there is something, there, yeah. is there, is there an objective morality? Morality, like overall objective, everybody right. will live by. True for all people, all places, all times. To be honest, I'm still trying to figure it out, and okay. I don't even know. To be honest, it's completely Watch this. Honest. There's, there's a practice in Hinduism called Sutri. And in Sutri, when the husband dies at his funeral and they burn him, they burn his wife alive because she has no purpose at that point. right? What, what purpose would she have? In, a, in our culture, in America, we're like, who are we to speak in other cultures? That's not, you know, that's none of our business. But I, in my view, I think that's wrong. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're murdering the, this like, woman. Yeah. For what? There's, there's a, there's a, you know, sanctity of life is a, is a godly attribute that I think, in, in my belief, that he's put in all of us. Okay. Except for why? Do, but we do that out of man, man's okay, construct. Okay. So for, uh, for instance, the the Spartans, they would kill any infant that would have a disability. Did you get that from watching 300? The movie? Well, Eskimos do that as well. Okay. I was just in like in history right. class. Okay. Well, for example, uh, Eskimos, they will kill Eskimos and Spartans. They would kill just to make the, because. If, for example, if like somebody with a disability, I may this may be sound hurtless, but if someone with disability reproduces, it's more likely, more than 50% chance that their child, their offspring, will be continue with disabilities and they'll reproduce and they'll reproduce. For the better of the good, according to the Spartans, they would kill their infants with disabilities or deformities so that the greater good of their own population will continue and grow. So if you think about it, there will be a no world with no disabilities. Um, you know, in putting in context, or oh, that's they saw that as ungodly. For example, look, if we, if all the terminally ill people, this may sound heartless, but this is what I was, you know, I just meditate on. If someone, if if everybody was, if every person that was terminally ill, all of a sudden the government said everybody has to be euthanized because we're spending too much billions of dollars mm -hmm. but instead we'll spend billions of dollars on the people that actually will live a longer life and live expanded life all the homeless all the homeless vets all the all the people that need you know food all the poor people you know then you have but like would we rather kill for billions of people or for hundreds of thousands you know so you know it's it's it may sound heartless but like, would it be better for the greater good? Would you do it? It's just like the lever, you know? Do you know who did that? 
It, I mean, I don't know. I mean, my philosophy class, they talked about it. <laughs> it, it, it. Adolf Hitler did exactly that. Yeah. I mean, he... And you think what, that was a good thing? He did it in, in his morality, in his... No one questioned him because... Um, was it a good thing? Obviously, in my opinion, they, in my pure opinion, no, it's not. Him. Obviously, it's not. My, my opinion was is not good. Um, uh, obviously, what he did was like disgusting in every single, almost in every single um, like level of ethics. It's 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 not good. But was he was he really did did he really like um like I mean he who was doing it for like the greater good or wasn't culture? I mean we look at what Hitler Hitler did. It was disgusting, but then we kind of like. How can look, it be for the greater good if it's disgusting? It was disgusting, in my opinion. Yeah. But somebody else obviously is gonna think well, it's a, was was it right? Um, to me, it's not. But like, I'm not gonna argue with somebody else that think it's right really? at all. I so, mean, why would I argue? I'm not gonna change their mind. So so what watch I mean? this. So let's go to. They're wrong, obviously. In the, my head. This uh, who's from Virginia here? You're from Virginia, right? So you know what they happened this summer? They they're trying to pass the uh, post-abortion law. You can right. have a baby, and then they, the the governor said, well, we'll make the baby nice and comfortable, and then the mother can decide if she wants to, I don't know what word he is, but kill it. Right. Same thing. Are you okay with that? No. No, no. No, not at so, all. I feel, first of all, I feel men should not have an opinion in this. No no man that that is within the government making these rules, making these laws, should have an opinion on abortion or what we, as women, you know, decide to do with our offspring. And, yeah, point blank, period. Really okay, so are you so you're pro life or pro choice or what are you? Pro choice. Pro choice. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Okay, here's a different conversation. Uh oh, here we go. So don't get me heated on this. So just so Megan, between conception, between um, honeymoon night and birth, the, the minute the baby comes out, one minute after the baby's born, that's a baby, correct? Correct. It's not a. Uh, what do they they call it? A fetus. Okay, one minute before the baby's born, what is that? Is that a fetus or a baby? A fetus. A fetus. It's still a baby. I mean, regardless, it's a baby. But, I mean, but, what what are you trying to hint at here? Like, regardless, I'm not it's a baby. Him. I'm saying it clear. You're still today. killing something. Like, I understand yeah. that, but you got to take into consideration. Like, they're trying to ban abortions all throughout, regardless of the of how it happened. You know, they're trying to say okay. that. You know, she's over here, she got raped, she gets pregnant by it, but you still have to have that child and bear that child in your body, knowing that that seed in your body came from something that you're never going to be able to forget. Regardless, you're not going to be able to forget it, but having to grow up and know that child is from a rapist or from an unwanted pregnancy, like, no woman should have to have to go through that. So, so I I empathize with, I've, I've had three, my wife's had three miscarriages, we've lost children like that and I'm telling you is a, even as an eight week old fetus it felt like there's my first baby right, I, I, right. I couldn't stand it my knees were buckled um, so so here's here's one way of thinking about that is that you know two wrongs two evils don't make a rape right, and then right. and killing a child doesn't make you know does that why does that make it better you could put the child up for adoption right or you could love the child and, you know, I know it's, you, you say it's a constant reminder, but like you said, you'll never forget that. This is a tough question. You'll never forget what happened anyway. I know Very this. True. I know this. Um, but then again, are you going to make the, the population grow? You're going to, you well, know. But that's a different that, issue. Right, right, different right. Issue but it all comes into play, you know, with this abortion law, you know. <laughs> still, still. I mean, I'm just saying. There is abortion. There is, you can't love the child, but at the same time, there's a, so many kids who need parents. Oh, yeah. um, so what? You're just so going to continue adding to that? No, to what? To so all of these the children system. that are in the to if the I, system, I, the I, people like, that are in foster care. And she wanted to get an abortion, but all daughter. she does to me is give me hate yeah. instead of love. That can mess up a child. That makes well, me. That makes me feel. Yeah. But these these are all these are all possible scenarios. I'm saying. The scenarios I, that are definitely prominent, definitely definitely happen. You know. Well, we. I'm a foster child. I'm a foster parent, and right. I'm adopting my foster child. So. You know, there's situations, there's a lot of people waiting and praying for a healthy child. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, big issue. We're not going to probably solve it here today, but... Definitely not. That's but not be. but think, think about that. You know, this, you know, evil, like you said, it's still a child one minute before birth. And then who's to decide bef yeah. from conception to one minute before birth? Right, who is when to is decide? It, when is it, the no government? Way. Well... I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you on that. No, no, absolutely not the government. I, okay. I, agree, I agree with you. So, okay. 
Yeah, there we go. We're back okay, to that question again. Okay, back to that question. Who draws no, that line? Oh, no, no. You don't want me to. I well, feel like well, you're, technically you're, you're, you're have saying, to be a personal You're saying it's the, it's, the, it's the mother, right? In that in that case, yes. And I'm saying my, my I'm saying that God is the... He gives the ultimate morality. He's the one that sets... The, you said it. You said objective morality. That there's this is true for all people all the time. And God has a sanctity for life. And God is a God of restoration and wholeness. And so, yeah, I, I know this. I know the different situations with abortion, but uh, I'm I'm fully on board with, you know, I'd I'd rather raise this child in a loving family and redeem. Who's the, to tell the, the, the child's going to go into a loving family? Well, who's any child? You could have a child in a loving family. It could be a, a real brat and a right. knucklehead, right? Right. Right. So, what it's I'm saying is, why would you want to punish that child for something you know he's he's never done before? You know? It's true. Yeah. I agree. Right. I agree on that. All right. So I want you, Megan, here's your homework. Tonight, think about morality. And if mankind decides, like, if government draws the line, that's trouble. There's got to be someone. I'm sorry, what's your first name? Ruben. Ruben. Like Ru Ruben said, if there, you know, if the government draws the line, that's, that's trouble. If there's, a sob if there's an objective morality, something that's true for all people at all time, mm -hmm. then it, then then we have something that we can go by that's like, okay, this is good. Like, again, I said, when I'm the, I'm the chief, uh, I'm the lawgiver of my house for my kids growing up, they understand that, right? right? And I'm the authority, and I'm giving them right and wrong, um, so they can appeal to that. But if we do it ourselves, if mankind does it, like you said, that you want them making decisions for, for you? No. no. Do, we, do, we have, uh, do we have permission to use this if we decide to use it? Ruben, you okay? Yeah. All right, good. All right, right here. Okay. Bring it in. Peace out. Hey everybody, Carl Kirby here. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, check out one of these other videos. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel and visit our website at rforh.com. Adios.